warfare is now moving into towns and cities. Hence, snipers today have to operate in many different terrains. One scenario might see them in the forested areas, shooting into built-up areas. But there is another challenging scenario, which sees them operating in urban areas. One such challenge? Closely packed buildings reduce field of vision from below, while being on high ground makes them conspicuous targets. Hence, there must be a good balance when picking a sniping spot. Plus, it's now harder to hide. In a conventional setting, we have a lot of natural camouflage and concealment to, to build a very good sniper position. Whereas in a built-up area, we have to use a lot of improvised material such as this table and cupboard, whatever we can find in the building to construct our firing position. During the stakeout, the snipers utilise their skills of observation. At the start, they put pen to paper and map out what they see. It's a game of spot the difference. At any one time, if what they see differs from what they drew, something is amiss. The men are also trained in judging distance, a skill which helps the snipers judge how far the enemy is. This information is crucial when calibrating the sniper weapon. While both are trained in sniping skills, they have different roles to play. As a number two sniper, my role is to be spotter. Later on, before he fires, I have to check the surrounding before giving him the go as to when to fire. Immediately after he fires, I have to check where his shot land and correct him if he misses. Whether it's a training exercise such as this one or in battle, their motto is always one shot, one kill. That's why snipers are feared. With just two men, they're capable of taking out critical enemy targets and as a result, restrict enemy advances. 